Hey, hey, y'all. This is Dee Dee with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube, and we have Jasmine. And how did she find? How did you find me? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. So she found me on YouTube, and she's been doing some grooming. Um, and she decided to come out and you know get a dryer and stuff. Uh, we will, well, she decided to kind of chit chat mm -hmm. about what she should use, right? Right. And we went with um, one of the one of the dryers that's. She got the, she's getting the dryer, and I think it's just going to save her a lot of time. So I kind of helped her do some business coaching, get the dryer that's going to save her time, gave her some opportunities, but then she also wanted to find out how to do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. About the face and the underarms. and the On small dolls or Yorkies. Okay, so today we're going to focus on a few areas, and we've got our clients here already, so we'll get started. Uh, thanks a lot for finding me. No I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, so she's paying for some training today, and here we go. All right. Okay, so here we are. We're actually gonna do our uh, pads together. <clears throat> We're gonna do it kind of in sync, and I'm gonna scoot this way. So we have about one hour right now okay. to get both these dogs done. Okay. So we're, I'm going to move, okay? So we're gonna do our 40, we're gonna kinda of go in sync with two different cuts. We got Jojo and Tinker Dink. Tinker Dink's kinda of feisty, so I have her. 40 on the feet and on, on the pads, so let's do that. Right, and then sometimes if I use a blade that needs to be oiled, you'll hear that loudness too. Okay. Sometimes, when's the last time you changed your, um, this is the blade drive in here. When's the last, have you ever changed it? No. How, how long have you been grooming with it? Um, about, about a year. A year? Yeah. It's about ready probably to change. You might okay. see a difference if we do that by itself. Okay. Okay? Don't let me forget. Okay. A really great way, I'm going to stop you right there. Hold your clippers. Come over this way. Okay. Do, do it with that dog. And you're going to hold with hold oh, okay. and do this, okay? Now, um, if, if this is an assist, mm -hmm. it helps the dog too. Okay. Um, especially if you have joint problems. Yorkies a lot of times do have this knee that go thump, 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 okay. pops out at you, right? And try to keep that from happening, so that assist helps. Okay. Um, but you can do nails like this too. Now, if you want it, if you do nails and you don't know the dog, make sure this is tight. Make sure this is not too loose. Okay. Or watch, I'm gonna pull this tight. You see that? Mm -hmm. So where if it bites me, it's on my elbow, not okay. my face. Okay. okay. Good. That's a good hold to know. Okay. And then I'm gonna let you just demo this. This is the first the dog up stand we used. And then you're gonna go up with the assist. And now you don't even have to do that hold you can just do this so now it's assisting him and with the joints and everything so try that too if you want So as soon as you're done with your 40, I'm already going to start on my body here. I'm going to 7. Okay. Whatever you can get, David, because I wasn't sure. I moved my table closer to hers for to help the video situation. Okay, thanks. Can you write on her card um, the face mask with 10 plus tax? The cards over there, right there. The the cards right there. Which, okay. And then also um, talk about blade drive.
So here, if this is in your way, go ahead and move it. And then I would come in this way. Boom, right here. Try that. That way your face is not over here in his face. Okay. Kind of come in here, cross. There you go. Go, change out, change out to 10, just keep going. I'm gonna stop you there. Something, if we double check later, I'm just gonna keep getting, having it go. Just change out to a 10 and put your two guard on. You just breathe, but don't let me stress you out. So two, have you got your two bar? Yes. Okay. Uh, brush. Your bristle brush there. So do this first. You're gonna push all this in your way. Get okay. it all in your way, right? It's gonna come. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be a lot faster. So real quick, you just move it. You're not brushing. Okay. Okay, and then come down. Keep, From go, the neck and then yep. Down. Go down and then just do your stride just like that. Keep okay. the same rhythm. And it doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the hair off at this point. This is a rough end, so you can do a back, dry, and then we're going to fix everything up, like really detail it up. Over to a seven blade. We're gonna go down kind of by the let me see how do. elbow down on the legs. So elbow down. Okay. Yeah, so let me show you on this one. So I can't really tell. Why not? It's just gonna, you're gonna have to hand scissor because there's on that side there's some knots. So why not? Let's just take this down. Okay. Looks like he had surgery too. They shaved up here to do that, right? You know what I'm talking about. Right. Uh, so do that. Same thing on this side from like 
you're going to hand scissor. Imagine you're hand scissoring. This is going to take away your hand scissor time because it's already knotted up over here. Haven't seen them in a while, so just do a seven. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So if you guys are doubling up, you want to do the same body part at the same time. Okay. Um, so me and her are going to do the back together so we're both kind of lifting the dog. If you have a tag team situation, you really could knock out one dog like this in 30 minutes. So just at the bend of the knee. We're not trying to make it all bony like chicken feet, but we definitely are going to act like we're hand scissoring but with our seven blade. Some knots here. Look at this big mat right here. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Yeah, maybe I already took it out. But there was a big knot here, and I was like, oh yeah, we're just gonna, we're not gonna see her do that. He's too old of a guy. Yeah, I feel right here. This big thing. Yeah, right. It's huge. So like, why? Well, we're gonna have to get that out anyway. So that's why I was like, make a seven. So on mats like that, you don't do mat, correct? You can. Okay. It, um, I just got off the phone last night doing a business interview. A uh, lady said, Petey, I demat all the dogs I do. I'm right. like, are you charging for it? Because mm -hmm. she says, it's killing my hand, is what she said. Right. So you pick how you want to do business. Okay. Just say, I don't do matted dogs. There's a lady that sends me all her matted dogs. She doesn't do, if she shows up, mobile grooming, and the dog's matted, it's $50 and she doesn't groom the dog. Okay. It says, I do not do matted dogs. If I show up and he's matted, I'm going to send you to Dee Dee mm -hmm. and I'm going to charge you 50 bucks because you have to tell me your dog's matted. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So pick how you want to do your business. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Me, I don't have the time. Uh, matted dogs can't be done in an hour. Mm -hmm. sure. Okay. So, okay, I'm about to take over, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do one armpit. You're going to come this way. You don't know where that skin is. Okay. You're going to come down and open it up so you can see. You're not going to be able to tell if I go this way with your tent. It's not going to be a big deal. Okay. So up in here, you use this about this much of your blade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. And, and so I'm using this side or this side, right? To kind of get, get myself an area and then come in here and you can clean all this out if you want to right there. Okay. And then scoop this way. You see how clean that is? Right. You can dig a little bit, just use the edges of your blade to get in there. You can come this way, and not to the skin here because you're only doing a two, but you can do something like that. Okay, do the other side. Okay, because that's probably the only, the part that I feel afraid of because that skin that's hanging down, yep. it's just like... It's so you don't want to go at the skin okay. like this. Right. You don't want to take that in there like that. You wouldn't want to do that. Okay. What you do want to do is right here, mm -hmm. bring that in, so I'm, I'm going to use this side. Uh, depends on how you're holding your mm -hmm. clippers. You want to kind of swing it in here like this okay. to get that and not digging. Um, just kind of help that hair to come out and into your clippers, okay. right? And then come down this way and this way. So I'm using this or this, right? Okay. Not the whole thing. You see the skin there? It's definitely go through here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So don't don't come at that angle like that. Don't come in here. It'll nick all that. Okay. okay. So it's by the corner, basically. Or yes. The, edge of the it. little corner, and then just don't don't line the teeth up. Mm -hmm with the paper. Don't okay. line it up like you can take it off. Okay. Right. Try the other side. And I'm actually going to put her back on my table and you're going to do her armpits right now. Too. What are you doing to your game? Come here. Come here, baby. You can come in from this angle. Come here. Come here, Jojo. Come here. So right here, I'm putting my tummy on my cord. Okay. If he knocks it down, it's not going to go far, far. So come here. Lift up. Tinker ding. And now you're going to see this armpit like this. And you're going to come this way into it. Now, I like this, this hole. I like this all chiseled out with my tent. Okay. So real lightly, because I, I mean, I can't really tell where this skin is at yet. Just get all that out of the way. Be really careful with that line there. You can nick it. 
So don't, you can see I'm just kind of barely tapping to see where I'm at first, find, find everything first. Okay. Have some mats in there. Get that out of there. Same thing here, you can actually slice into that right. too, right? So if you go reverse here, that should help you. Okay. Reverse right there. And so I can't even see it right here, I need to kind of chisel out a little bit more. I know the skin goes that way, so go this way. Okay. I like all this so you can see the whole tummy. Here in Texas, it's too hot. Okay. And then just come down the legs while you're in here. So it's like going against it? You can, yeah. but whatever, however you need to get in there to see okay. what you're working with, okay? But am I dragging the skin? No. Okay. Am I even really on the skin? No. Feel my clipper blade. That's why. Okay. It's warm. So don't want to be like, mm -hmm. you don't want to be doing that. You want to be like this. Right, okay. okay. So I'm going to change out my clipper blade because they are warm. And then I'm going to have you come over, check yours, and then I'm going to have you come over here and do her armpits, which are tinier. you are, come do her armpits. Okay. Gotta try to use your edge versus the whole blade. It don't matter what, when you get, see I'm going this way or mm -hmm. this way, I'm not going the whole thing. Okay. And then right there, that's coming down this way, I'm actually going to come this way at it. Okay. Just one more. Okay. Go try the other side. Uh, just going to take time to get okay. your technique down. You may hold your clippers more so like a pencil. Okay. It might be hard to do at first, mm -hmm. but you might, you might. That might be what you need to do. So you can do this. Okay. Okay. Rather than you've got some, that's kind of, you've got your whole hand doing that rather than a few fingers. Okay. Okay. Try that a couple times at, when you're at your own business. Okay. So let's do the face together. Make sure your blade, ten blade is not hot. This is not that bad to do. Okay, so we're going to come down. His is barely anything, right here by the eyes. Okay. If you are afraid to work around the eyes, you want to cover the eye with your finger here. Okay. And come in with just, remember again, that little edge right here. Mm -hmm. um, come in and clean out this little area by the inside of the eye. And all dogs, depending on the ones you're working with, you may not may or may not shave down. 
see all those whiskers, I probably wouldn't take them off because they're all they're all intact. Okay. And then if he's gonna act like that, you can do your thinning shears to kind of get that junk out right there. Okay. Come on, Jojo. Come on, man. Come on, Jojo. Good job. So right there, just kind of, and then we'll. Yeah, let's see. It's pretty mad in there. You got something going on in there? When I just took all that off, man. Oh, that goat. Okay. Right? So we're going to clean that up in the back. All right, get your uh, two bar. We're going to go. So the best way to do that is like this. So you're going to set it here yeah, okay. and then go like that. Okay? That's the fastest way you can go. Set it down there, get the hooks where you need them, and then just pull that hinge. Okay? okay? So these are the ones that slide on. And then yep. So okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So hold this down around and put your finger around the loop. Mm -hmm. Put your finger in the loop so you have more control here. Okay. We're going to watch the eyeballs. I've got chin hair. And we're going to go straight back. Now you're going to come this way, but don't cut the ear flaps. Kind of go up and go down and up. And like get away from the ears. We'll come back and work on the ears separate. And then on the sides of the face, you're going to go straight down. Staying, kind, of, kind of staying away from the ears. And then once you get down to the bottom of the face, you're going to come reverse here. Kind of cutting that edge right there. You see that line I'm creating? Mm -hmm. Do that on both sides. Once you get to that part, you can go in and loop them back in. And click them up. going to go reverse a little bit, right? So right behind the head. Go reverse and push all that out. Okay. Come back and do your reverse here. Uh, now click them in. Click them in. Do both sides. Come reverse here. Go to the next side. Yep, yep. Is it better to wash the dog first, depending on the condition? And then so I know I never you I could probably say I never do that I'm, I'm pretty good about pricing okay. I never do that um, because if a dog's nasty at all I prefer that they're all that hair is off okay before we do anything okay that's just my opinion. Are there other groomers doing it the other way? Yeah. Or have I been kind of, um, some people have kind of said, what do you do? You know, yeah, they don't like the way I do something. Mm -hmm. I find that this way is faster. But in your case, it depends on if you change the way you do business mm -hmm. or, or we can work something out right. or what, whatever, your opportunities change. Okay. If your opportunities change and you have, so um, just so you guys, they're not, they can see the dogs, but just so you guys know, she's actually, driving the dogs to a place to bathe them and then coming back to groom them. So she's asking questions that are pertaining to her own business, the way she's doing her business or starting her business. So I would say, um, if you have a tub, mm -hmm. rough in, there's other groomers that have told me, Dee Dee, I'm doing it like you do it and I do, sa I've saved time. Right. When they used to bathe first, dry, we would have to dry all that coat out. Mm -hmm. Why? 
It's all gone. Half of it's gone. Why would we dry hair we're going to shave off? We just wasted all that time. Okay. So shave it all out of your way. Bathe. Dry with the towel. Blow dry with the... The really good blow dryer will be fast. Okay. okay? So I'm going to do them both like one big animal. You're going to help me. Okay. So I'm going to kind of do... Get this warm. Conditioner, shampoo. Okay. We're using the pet soap, which I love. I think you should get it and use it. And then I think you should always have one bottle of shampoo and one bottle of conditioner and you try to sell it. Okay. That way you profit a few bucks on a groom. Mm -hmm. And maybe even start to pick one or two things. You can get them from me. Okay. We can work out a deal so I can help you grow. You buy a box of treats. You resell, buy another one. You resell, buy another one. You profit some, you know what I'm saying? Right. Why not? Okay. Because you've got, you're doing this delivery stuff, you know, you could be like, today we got treats for sale for 10 bucks. Okay. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna wet everybody. Down on the ear so no water gets in the ear. Coming around to the head here. You definitely want to wash the eyeballs out, okay? Because okay. you don't want any soap, but their faces are, his face is really nasty. I'm going to get them wet. And there's this ointment that you put in their eyes. Mm -hmm. the for for soap, soap Is it for that or is it the one from the veterinarian? It's for surgery? Yeah, it's for, um, for the back. Okay. So I I had some, but I ran out. But um, you put them in their eyes before you take them in the bath, and then uh, if there's any, it keeps the soap from their eyes. So that's what okay. I use. So. Okay. Um, I have ear clean. Or sorry, eye wash. Mm -hmm. But I I'm really in tune with washing their face. Right. Okay. So you're gonna do the shampoo on him, so you can put him over there next to you. So I'm doing two squirts, I'm going to kind of ease, I'm going to just get my shampoo everywhere first, real lightly, and then I'm going to come back and do conditioner. So we're trying to finish out that conditioner so there's no pump in there, so just do it like a tablespoon. Rub it all around, do it all together, otherwise your rinse off time is going to be a long time. Lightly on the head, so it's not too much on the head, but you are washing the head and face. And we have the flea comb that we use in the tub. This is to kind of wash their eyes really well here. Hers are not bad at all, but you need an eye booger you can just touch, touch face with. He has a yeah, gross eye booger. So. Oh, okay. We're going to shave that off then. Maybe that's why it's... Uh, so water is going to help you get out, sorry, is that your eyeball, ma'am? Water is going to help you get this stuff off easier, okay? So if it's really nasty, you need a lot of water, okay? okay. okay so that looks good. And then here's where um, you have a designated brush towel for your, once this is wet, it, mm -hmm. it, go, excuse me, it, it gets softer, okay. okay? So here you're going to brush out the tail. More water the better. And I know you're getting cold there, buddy. Okay, so brush here lightly. We did a pretty short cut on her, so I'm not going to get too hard. Okay. And then do that with him. And I did nick myself with that um, brush. So as soon as you nick yourself, you get goat treated. So if you nick yourself, go treat it right away, or it could get infected, okay? okay. Like, no joke. Whatever you have, peroxide or alcohol, just get that on there. Even if it's just the brush.
food and come in here for? Um, I don't know. I can tell you in a minute, though. Okay. But Jojo, he's on video. I don't know if you've okay. seen his video. Yeah, I've seen him. Oh, he's a good dog. Okay. I want to say that video was about a year ago. Okay, two pets in the same household. I actually do just one towel because they're pretty small. Squeegee dry with your hands for me. Mm -hmm. Kind of squeegee dry them with your hands. Okay. I want to kind of just real lightly kind of get us some hair, some of this water off. And then I would tell you on my YouTube, use every inch of the towel. Because okay. you're, if you're like me, you're going to be washing the towels and you're going to be drying the towels. So the more you use that you don't need to use, okay? okay. You can dry a pretty decent sized pet with one towel. You've got to use every inch of it though. Okay. Okay. Hold on, Jojo. We're getting to you, man. Okay. When you're running a store with just by yourself, mm -hmm. that's what you do. You have to watch every little thing, otherwise you spend a lot of time doing just uh, things that are just like, wow, man, if I just had 50 towels to wash instead of 200, um, everything's a dollar amount as far as a business. You need to watch your expenses. Right. We're going to blow dry. We'll be back. Okay, here we go. We're back on it. We're going to tidy everything up. His face looks so, your face looks so narrow, man. Yeah, so we're not going to take off very much more on the sides here, okay? Let me see. For your workies like this, how long do you usually take for working? So start to finish, this guy, he's so great. If I wasn't training you, it would be 30 minutes. Okay. And it's because he's, he doesn't fight or, you know, right. he's a really good dog to groom. So 30 minutes he would be done. Okay. But the training, the talking, the moving, the stopping, all that is a, turns it into a much longer groom. Okay. But yeah, start to finish, he should be done in 30 minutes, which when you book an hour, you get a couple minutes to do paperwork, mm -hmm. you know, just grab something to eat right. um, out of the fridge, you know, things like that. So, um, Go ahead and she's on the, uh, we're gonna just do it together, do it all over. So tiny, go back with your two. Mm -hmm. You want this like ready to go, like mm -hmm. perfect, not perfection, but you want it to be like, this is a, this is the haircut, we're done. So the body, I want you to get that done. Okay. Um, all the guard, two guard down again, and then seven all on all your feet, okay? Mm -hmm. So that, yeah, I'll let you go.
brush to go up if you need to. To double check everything. Do a four guard on your clippers. Mm -hmm. oh yeah, this is looking really good here. Because we got to come back down with the seven on the legs anyway, right? Mm -hmm. So we just kind of fade that in. And don't worry too much about. Get all this even out here. Okay, I'm gonna do a seven on the legs and clean this up. You are out. Let me show you what I want you to do on the head. Okay. Come on, Jojo, you're such a good dog. You're such a good boy. Yes. So right here, I just want you to do a four. Watch this skin flap. It can go right in there. You want to go a, a, like move this or keep it away. You want to bring all that kind of 
you kind of want to do that anyway, but you want to keep it this way, okay? Right. Not into the, the skin flap. Okay. Really lightly, just get out of there, right? Down the ears, down the back. Not so much down the face here. We're kind of blending all this in right here, okay? Okay. You can come just straight down here. I'm not against, the, I'm not doing it all the way at the head. I'm just real lightly, like as if I was scissoring some of these like flaring. Yeah, skimmy yeah. it. Okay. Good word. And I'm going to come back and finish the legs. If you skim it over and over and over, then you start taking it shorter. So just get what you need to skim move, and then move on, okay? Don't spend a lot of time going back and forth or just might as well go shorter. girlfriend okay so um, I'm going to show you something you're done right kind of done with that so this is not gonna this is not gonna let me it's not gonna get tangled but it will not let you keep wrapping it around okay um, you're done there mm -hmm. do you have a seven inch shear that's straight it's just about this long it's it's this long after the handle Yeah, this should work. Okay, so let me show you one ear here, and you're going to work on the other ear. So here's my seven inch ear shear, okay, or that's what I call it. Okay. Again, you keep it closed until you get here. You're going to go like this, right? Right? You, I've got the meat. I don't see any meat like this. Right. It's behind okay. my fingertips. Okay. You're just going to follow it up. When you get to this point, I do like them rounded. So you're going to come over here, you're going to just round it through, not mm -hmm. sharp. So all this, take it off, keeping that ear ear leather right there and below your fingertips. Okay. Bring everything in, okay? Keep checking, moving it around. We'll check, we'll do the inside of the ear later. Mm -hmm. Just go all the way, and you might have to do that, like move it into your way. So hold on, back up. Okay. Remember how, right there, you were like this. Mm -hmm. Look, look at my hand. Okay. You always keep it closed. Okay. Something else might get in there before you get to, okay, so always come up to approach the ear or anything with it closed, and then go to trimming. Okay. Don't ever like be, never have that, okay? So go again. Yeah, the only difference is, see how this is sharp here? Yeah. It comes to a pointier tip, okay. There is a little difference. Okay, go ahead. So keep that closed. You yeah. see how you do that? You do that a lot. Be very, yeah. that can definitely hurt you or the dog. Right. Okay, always so, keep them closed. For the ears, mm -hmm. and how they showed me, but okay. I'm just saying, like, I don't do it, but they go like this, right? and then they trim it. Like okay. So. You can do that too. Okay. I don't, because every ear is different. Mm -hmm. So if you hold this together and you don't pay attention, if there's a, if this is bigger or mm -hmm. smaller, why not just do this? Right. That's just my personal way of doing it. Okay. Or when we go down to do this stuff, yeah, you're gonna hold this here to trim it up this way. Right. 
but not with the, I want this piece of meat in my way. Right. I have seen way too many groomers cut an ear off, mm -hmm. cut half the ear off, cut a nick off, cut the tip off. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a reason why they're doing it. Right. I can't believe if you held this, really held this leather here and trimmed right there, mm -hmm. how you could have cut any leather. Okay. Could you have? No. If you actually hold this right here, there's no way you're going to cut leather. Right. If you hold it like this, I would think that you could make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Could you? Yes. Yeah. Look at all this leather in my way. Yeah. It's not, and then to, to do two pieces at once, that's scary to me. So I wouldn't do that. Okay. okay. I, I don't do it, but I'm just saying. Sure, I, sure. I saw. I can see okay. this. This is what I will see is this. Right. Line it up with the ear. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. We're gonna, um, I'm gonna have you go to her, mm -hmm. and I want you to do the exact same thing. Okay. okay. With the, what did we just do? Yeah. Yep. Do the ear leather like that, and then. Um, oh, oh, we did a four or two, two down the. Did you do? I'm doing a four here. Here and here. Remember how we did the top of his head? Right. I think we did two. We did two. So I'm doing a four here. So do that. Four here. Here like that. Okay. I was going to do it and I was like, I'm going to let you do it. Because it started looking too cute and I want you to know how that looks like. So, four. so it's kind of chip choppy everywhere. Right. So do your four guard. Okay. Just like you did his. Make sure you don't get that in there. Right there. Okay. Good to go. Okay. And I'm going to finish up his feet and everything. Yep, make sure you get the leather first before you start trimming. Jojo, you're such a sweetheart, man. You and Tinker Dink. You and Tinker Dink are so sweet. Yeah, look at you. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. Let me see your chin chin here. No, no, let me see. Let me see.
was gonna call you Coco. <laughs> Jojo, Jojo, can you look over here? I know, baby, I'm looking over here. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a good smile right there. And right here, just cut it off right or just leave that? We're gonna go back, um, so the more you trim with your scissors, mm -hmm the more I find it can be uneven. Okay. So that's why we'll use a lot of guard because the guard is going to make it cut all the same okay. length. Okay, so do your guards there. Okay. Get all, all that evened up. Uh, David, you can get mom's total and everything going because we're uh, just a little behind on her time. We're right, right on the edge of uh, what you used to. See that I'm doing that, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm not doing my leather like that. And I can see all this. What's he doing, man? He needs your company. He needs your gun. Yeah, good to go, right? Mm -hmm. I think we're good to go. I'm going to do... Um, my seven ears here, here. Some of this sticking out. Yeah. And I'm gonna clean her ears and then I'm gonna show you some stuff with her, um, with her toenails. So there is some ear hair there. We're gonna pull that out. Jojo's barking, man. Mm. He's just stressing himself out. So I'm moving this and you can actually see all this kind of back here. Just get all that out of the way. We'll come back with a seven there so it stays even. All this ear hair, once it's gone, it'll, we can see better what we're doing. But I'm going to take out this few pieces here. And when they're doing this thing, I call it like squatting. You can kind of see where you can kind of get all this out of the way. Just a little bit. Just watch that bone right there. Anything just kind of you can see it hanging off, hanging off the side. I'll come back after I clean my table. Ear hair. So now we're gonna. I'm just gonna make it real nice and easy here. And all that ear hair. Yeah, let's get that out of there.
that Dana? Yes. We're almost done with Tinker Dink. She didn't try to bite today, so that's a good thing. Did she try to do that this time? Well, she's feisty. I, I put down that she's ornery, man. Sometimes she gives me this, this I don't know, this sign. She used to be, she, the first time she came here, she was... Really oh, she opened up the second time, but it's been a minute. Today she was fantastic. But I was like, she's ornery. i got to be careful. Uh-oh. You're lucky we're almost done, Tinker Dink. No, here, you can't party yet. So I'm going to even up this neckline instead of scissors, right? right. Because then I'm going to see her back forth. It's not even. Oh, I'm, that one's shorter now. Great, you know. So it just, just makes go. it all even. Yeah, it's so easier. Just get, this will make it even. It, it's seven even, but it'll make it even, right? Right. The more you sit there and hand scissors, the more you're like, oh, that took too much. Mm -hmm. I took too less, you know, so it'll save you time. Do you want to have ear infections? Say again? Ear infections? Uh, I'm not done with her ears just yet, but I don't think so. I just pulled her ear here. It looks great. Everyone looks great. Thank you for asking. She's adorable. What? David, oh, and he started helping me. He said, Dee, I love Yorkies. I want a Yorkie. And I started counting, like, how many Yorkies I do. And I'm like, wow. That's the number one dog I grew. I was like, you're so lucky. <laughs> I get, you get to hang out with Yorkies a lot. I was like, I couldn't believe how many Yorkies I do. It's probably one out of five is a Yorkie. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it like that. I never was like, man, there's a lot of Yorkies coming in. I get a lot of Maltese. Like Maltese. 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 That's really? They're like, I want a, um, come on. Teddy bear? No, uh, it's a uh, total look on the smoky pool. Clean feet or everything like round oh. head. Really? Like round like a I know one of my clients, she wants a sweater like body uh -huh. for the lamb cut? Yeah. And then it's a it's lot of work. That's it's, a lot of work. Yeah. So you have to charge accordingly. Mm -hmm. Especially, uh, I would be doing a lot of guard at the, to save my hand. Right. But if you're doing a guard and scissoring, a lot of time just trying to get it perfect. So mm -hmm. make sure you're charging accordingly. Yeah, because she wants like a sweater sweater look, but her bottom area is shaved down, like short, short. Oh, okay. So in there, baby. I was like, okay. Do you? Does she brush her dog? Uh, not like. Not usually. Okay, it's a requirement. Okay. At this point on, it's a requirement. Yeah. And um, you could, if if you're learning, then you can discount. But once mm -hmm. you got it, mm -hmm. your rates go to a got it, you know, fee. Right. Okay. You're not learning anymore. So you got to make that choice on when that when that mm -hmm. happens. When, what's fair? Right. Because if she came in here, it would be eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, this is a private one on one, and so you're offering the same thing, right? Right, I, I, I charge her about 70 to 75 dollars. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. You can get um, JoJo out. Oh, he has got that demanding. David, you can get him out. He's taking my money. He's so adorable. All right, I think we're good. You can wrap up if you want to. And we'll just do a quick um, tie up at the end and payment and everything. Do you, unless, Jasmine, don't let me not answer any questions. Did you get kind of, yeah, how I do you feel? I feel fine. Okay. Like, we didn't have a lot of time to do nails, but it's fine. Um, come look at her nails. Like, I'm not going to, tell me if you can tell me why I'm not going to take anything off her rear nails. Because they're shorter already. Can you see the, yeah. the vein? Mm -hmm. Can you see the vein? Yeah. Look for the vein on these. these. You can see it. Okay, you've got you to gotta try, um, as you work with animals, try to see the vein, okay? Okay. Can you see them there? There's chalk in the way. But we're at the vein on all of them already. Yeah. Because I have this dog that his is short, like short. It's like past the vein area. I know mm -hmm. he goes to a different owner to put his down. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, all right. How's he look, Mom? Handsome. He was oh, hippie. good. He was hippie in it. Good time. Come on, you're so good. <laughs> you're such a good class. You did so good today. You did so good today. Yep, we're not done, though. We're not done. I know you're getting excited.
I know you're excited. Yeah, I'm making you more excited. Yes, I am. David, did you take my cell phone? This way, let's go over here then. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. Okay. Get your. Come on, let's go. Come on. Glitter. Hi. Hey, Hi so happy. Happy. Oh. so happy. Oh my God. It's like their hair turns different colors, you know? <laughs> yeah, when we take, she had a shorter, we did the same shortcut, I hope that's okay. Oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah, the summer cut is what, I, so I happy. know, I didn't know JoJo's ears were getting so dark. Oh, inside? Yeah. It's just changing naturally. Yeah. Just like our bodies will change, you know, and we'll have a bunch of weird well, lumps on our neck. Uh, okay. Aww. Oh, sweetie. Was she good or were you honoring today? No, she is great. Remember when her statue look? Yes. The last time she didn't do... If, yeah. Mm, but 50-50. Mm, but not the same as that time. It was so cool. I was like... I know. I know. <laughs> because she has he really is so, opened up to you big time. Yeah, she's she's got it though. She's got it down. She's so cute too. Say right. thank you. All right. Well, Okay, girl, how'd it go today? It went really good today. I learned a lot about the armpit airs and then the ears and the face of the Yorkie. So thank you. Awesome. Uh, is there, what's the one thing you, you are like, man, I, I can't believe I learned that or I, I, that's exactly what I need. Anything like that that you're, you're like, man, I really, that's really important. Yeah, um, about the ears and how the flaps, you can actually nick them with the flaps. So that really helped me a lot and uh, also using the tips of the the blades of the armpits right not the whole blade right, right? right. and uh you noticed big deal is how heavy you have the blade on the body right so real you know how people are like you're burning the dog there's no way to burn the dog if you're just using your teeth on the right. dog so keep that full blade off the body okay okay um how'd the face mask go pretty good i like it yeah because usually i'm used to hair going in my face and my eyes and you know you will get sick after that, but you know, Do you notice that? Yeah. How do you notice that? Because um, I, it's been done to me before. Right, so you're grooming and like you don't feel all that great later. Right. You know that it's bothered you or you're it, where, where, like coughing or you just feel under the weather? Um, coughing. Wise, coughing. You know you're inhaling. The rest of the day. Yeah. Okay, so you do know that it's going in your lungs. Right. It's going in your breatheway. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Yeah. I'm glad that you picked one up today. Right. Um, you got a discount because you're, you know, you paid for school. So I wanted you to. I definitely believe in those. Okay, okay. so keep it clean. Keep it separate in a Ziploc. You know that whole thing. Right. And then just know if you need anything, you call me. Right. Okay. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thank Jasmine. You. No problem.